All of us from a very early age are told stories about how we ought to live our lives, the things we ought to do to lead the perfect life. And by and large, they're myths. And Happy Ever After is an attempt to dispel some of those myths. Happy Ever After is a book aimed at individuals who want to change their own lives, or at least think a little bit differently. It's aimed at parents who are thinking about how best to influence their children. It's aimed at policymakers who are thinking about how best to influence the lives of their citizens. We're all told countless stories about how we should live. The myth of the perfect life is that there is a perfect life, that somehow when you achieve these things that you'll be happy. That's not true for everybody. What I'm trying to do here is just to alert people to the fact that some of what they do might be driven by narratives and not by things that actually make them happy. Some of the most powerful narratives are ones around wealth and success and education, the fact that you need to be reaching for more and more of these things irrespective of how much you have. There's a whole range of stories about how we should live our lives, from earning more money to being successful to getting married and having kids. It's odd, isn't it, that we often judge people according to the stories we tell for ourselves, as if they ought to be leading lives similar to our own. But if they're happy being different, let them be different. If you're happy being different, be different. Live according to the principle of maximising your own happiness and the happiness of those that you care about. There's expectations on us to behave in all sorts of ways that conform. An LSE professor ought to act in the following ways. They ought to read novels. I don't read novels. I've got so much stick for saying that. But it's fine not to read made-up stories. I read lots of non-fiction, just not any fiction. I don't judge how other people use their leisure time. Well, not that much anyway. Um, and I don't want to be judged by them for using my leisure time in certain ways. If you find yourself judging other people, think about why you do that. Maybe you might like to be a bit more like them. <laughs>